Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to use Vault to revert back to a previous version of a file that has been edited and we uh, would prefer to use the previous version. So what I have now is I have a file that I've checked into the Vault. You'll see that it's basically like a little block that has a hole and some fillets. The previous version of this file is just basically the block. And this is an oversimplified version of what, what we're going to do. Uh, most likely your version is a little bit more complicated. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first off, it's very important to make sure that your inventor has no files open right now. Because we don't want to try to uh, get in a situation where we're trying to download a previous version, but the current version is already open, so it won't download that for us. So I'm going to go to my History tab here. I'm going to right-click on the previous version and use the Git slash Checkout function. Now you'll notice that I won't be able to check the file out. I'm just going to download the file um, because this is technically a previous version. I can't check out that previous version. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. I'm going to get a message here about my, uh, you know, my, my C drive has newer data than the, what the vault is trying to overwrite it. Is it OK? And I'll say yes. I even get an icon up here showing that my C drive is out of date with uh, what the vault sees as the current version. Now that I have that file downloaded, what I'll do is I'll right click here, say git slash checkout. I'll tell it to check the file out, but I'll also come down here to these options for download and tell it not to download the file. So basically, I already have the previous version on my C drive. I'm getting rights to modify the file, but I'm not downloading the most recent version. So I'll say OK. If I go back over to my inventor and I open up that file, I go over to my Vault tab here. Be able to right click and say Check In. So now if I go back over to the Vault tab, or my Vault application, do a refresh, you'll see that now I have three versions of the file. Version 3 looks like version 1. Thank you for watching this video, and please keep looking out for more Vault and Inventor videos here on this channel.